Some months ago I made a video concerning a possible SS Tiger tank still in a French river. Efforts have been underway for some time to locate the Tiger I, which tumbled off a transport barge carrying it across the Seine during the German retreat from Normandy in 1944. Link in the end screen. But it appears that another German tank may also still exist, submerged and forgotten since the end of World War II. It reportedly does not lie in a river, but in a lake in Germany, and is a Tiger II, the famous King Tiger. Could the rumours be true? According to discussions across several World War II discussion boards, it is. The location of the last King Tiger is somewhere around the shore of the Edersee, a huge man-made lake in western Germany near the city of Paderborn. Certainly, German armoured vehicles have been found and recovered from lakes and rivers before now. This badly damaged panther was discovered in a bog near the Ukrainian town of Spola and is currently displayed unrestored at the Auto and Technik Museum, Sinsheim, Germany. In 2000, a perfectly preserved Soviet T-34 tank that had been captured and reused by the Germans, a so-called Beuterpanzer, was recovered from a lake in Estonia, its German markings still intact. In 2015, two rare German armoured vehicles were recovered from the Pelicza River in Poland, an SDKFZ-250 half-track and an SDKFZ-7 half-track artillery tractor, their markings and paint still intact. There are undoubtedly more German World War II vehicles waiting to be found in rivers, bogs and lakes all across Europe. The purported King Tiger in a lake in Germany appears to be a true story, and the reasons for its slow recovery complex and convincing. The tank is located in the Edersee, a huge man-made lake created in 1941, when the Eder Dam was constructed, and was lost in March 1945 from one of the last battles on the Western Front. Due to the deteriorating state of the German defences on the Western Front since the Allies crossed the River Rhine in late March 1945 and began to advance steadily east against very weak opposition, the Germans needed armour, any armour. On the 29th of March 1945, SS Brigade Westfalen had been created at the Zennerlager Panzer training grounds north of the city of Paderborn. Its SS element consisted of two regiments, named Meyer and Holzer, after their commanders, infantry formations of young recruits, NCO school staff and cadets, and various other emergency units as could be found, each regiment being three battalions strong. Attached to the brigade to provide it with much-needed armoured support were 15 old Panzer III training tanks and three Jagdpanzer tank destroyers but the unit's main punch was provided by the 507th Heavy Panzer Battalion, a German army unit that was equipped at the time with 21 King Tigers. Mechanically unreliable though fearsome beasts, whose frontal armour was impervious to Allied weapons and whose main gun was lethal to all Allied tanks. But like all German armoured units at this stage, they were short of fuel, had lots of poorly trained replacement crews, and were short of spares for the big tanks. On the 30th of March 1945, elements of SS Brigade Westfalen entered combat with the advancing US 3rd Armoured Division, attempting to block the American advance on the city of Paderborn. The 507th Heavy Panzer Battalion is recorded as losing three King Tigers destroyed in action, while the Americans lost 17 Shermans. Undoubtedly, King Tigers were also abandoned due to mechanical issues or lack of fuel. I've covered this battle in some detail in a two-part series some years ago, including the death of the 3rd Armoured Division's commander, Major General Maurice Rose, killed during a King Tiger ambush. The story of how a King Tiger ended up in the Eidese is simple. According to the online discussions, the crew decided to abandon the tank. It is suggested that, in order to get rid of it, the crew drove it into the Eidese, where it became bogged down in mud and was left. Over a period of several years, according to local residents, it sank into the mud until it completely disappeared from view, beneath the surface of the water. With the passage of seven decades, the precise location of the tank was lost. Rumours of a lost but intact King Tiger eventually brought a group of salvers to the site looking for it. 
Using detection equipment, the group was able to find a target for investigation, and also recovered some metal fragments consistent with the World War II German armour. This was in the early 2000s. Finding and recovering such a vehicle would be a complex and very expensive undertaking for anyone attempting it today. The estimated recovery costs at the time were at least a quarter of a million dollars. As the tank undoubtedly went into the lake still loaded with ammunition for its main gun, a German army explosives disposal team would have to be present at any recovery. A final problem is the location of the alleged King Tiger. The Eidese is a European area for nature conservation, including breeding grounds for rare waterfowl. The King Tiger, if it exists, and I emphasize the word if, will probably never be recovered. Interestingly, research suggests that the location of other World War II German tanks are known, or at least suspected. A Tiger I has been reported as lost in the Schwerinersee, a North German lake. And two Panther tanks have been reported at the bottom of a reservoir in Poland. Without doubt, many European lakes were used as dumping grounds for German vehicles and equipment, and even treasure, and fascinating new finds continue to emerge every year. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and share, and also visit my audiobook channel, War Stories with Mark Felton. You can also help to support both of my channels at PayPal and Patreon, details in the description box below.